All right, back for, I won't say this is 3.5, but more like a 3.25. Um, this time we're gonna install the Ecobee Smart Thermostat Premium. I'll do a step-by-step. -step. Uh, apparently the one where I did with the Lutron three-way switch, uh, either those a long video, video um, doing step-by-step, -step, no uh, cutouts or anything. Actually doing pretty well as far as, you know, video-wise of views, so. I decided to go ahead and do that for the Ecobee and see how that works and see if maybe that is more what people want to see. Um, I know for me personally, that's, that's something I like to watch. It's step-by-step -step actually following through the process. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, already killed the power on the AC, so it's not turning it on. This is a little bit different. Um, from AC units I've done in the past. Uh, let's get a little closer look. Get the gimbal to work right. All right, so I'm used to red wire, yellow wire, white wire, green. They're using a black for the common. They have an O wire, which is kind of this, it's almost an orange. And then this one, this is the one that's throwing me off. It's uh, labeled D. So I pull out the manual for the, uh, in the attic, um, off the air handler. And I'm guessing this is a dehumidifier. I didn't know it, it, that they installed a dehumidifier. Uh, I know there's an option in the original thermostat for, you know, controlling the humidity. Because everyone knows if AC is a natural dehumidifier um, and how it's built. Um, so I'm going to wire this as a dehumidifier, as an accessory on the Ecobee. And then hopefully it either works or it doesn't work. So, um, but the main, like the heat and the AC should work just fine off of these wires right here. Um, and I also do know that I have. Um, auxiliary heat or emergency heat uh, besides the heat pump. Um, I gotta make sure that's wired correctly as well. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. So if we go over here, I have the <laughs> Ecobee set up, or I took it out. So this is the actual Ecobee. Um, it is quite hefty, not gonna lie. Then I have this as well. Um, and that's pretty much all I need because I don't need the pet wire. Um, I got the labels. This is the room sensor. Uh, I do have another one that's in the laundry room. I need to pull out. Um, uh, probably need to replace the battery on that one just just because you know, from the last house in Colorado. Uh, as stated before, I did find a rain, not rain, but a rain machine touch HD 16 zone um, off of eBay. It's in really good condition. It is a version two, so that means it will be able to upgrade to HomeKit on the firmware. If it's not already updated, it should be. Um, and then that's another project. Then I have the I Smart Gate Pro. Um, for the garage door. Uh, I still need to walk, run wires for ethernet in there and the access point. Um, but I am, they, these actually come with a wireless sensor. I do not like wireless sensors. Uh, if I have the option to hardwire anything, I hardwire it. So that's why I went ahead and picked this up. Uh, this is actually off of my smart gate for a gate opener um, in the future. Um, if I decide to put a um, gate opener on my gate connected to the garage way, I'll have that to install, but I'll have to pick up another one of these um, for it to be a, a wired sensor and not wireless. I, don't, I had issues with my wireless sensor for my MyQ in Colorado. Um, and the rental I have right now, I don't really have that much of an issue with the wireless sensor Ooh, I did not, not notice this this is cracked 
Um, I have another one uh, for the 12, 12 zone. I'm gonna check this out before I install this. Make sure there's no damage inside. Uh, but I do have another one. I actually have two of these because I have a revision one of these, which I thought was a revision two. When I talked to the person on eBay, they did not confirm that it was a, a, a revision one hardware. Um, so I kind of got screwed up. It was really cheap though, but you know, I can use that for parts or whatever. So I do have the power supply for that one, which I can use on this one. It should be the same power supply to check the, the ratings and everything. So, all right, so let me go ahead and grab this. Here's some screws. And then I probably have to plug some holes. Uh, I'm not gonna use the, the big base plate. Uh, I had in Colorado, it was, it was okay. Um, I prefer a more cleaner look if I had that option. So, I'm gonna wire these correctly, how they do it on those install bills for Ecobee. Let me get the gimbal all set. And zoomed in properly. from this probably is from the package that it was supposed to still up and then this I don't know where they got that from alright I'm gonna start with the red wire first in there. This is just marked for red. No red C or H. is W1. This is 
This is Mark Green, or G. black one for my common wire. The common wire provides your power, if you don't know. So this provides your constant power. That way it lights up your screen and all that stuff. Or your display, I should say. Sometimes your O can be with your B. Um, I forget what O is. So each of these have a, a rhyme and a reason for the colors and the labeling to either tell the thermostat to turn on the AC or turn on the heat or turn on just the fan or turn on the in my case, it would be a dehumidifier. The one I had in Colorado, I actually, it came with its own uh, hemostat, separate from controlling from the actual thermostat, but I combined the two in Colorado to where the EcoB controlled the dehumidifier. Not the dehumidifier, I'm sorry, the humidifier, because it gets really dry in Colorado. All right, then I have this D1. This D1 don't have a label for anything. And I am guessing that is for the dehumidifier, which I wasn't tracking. I had one in here. So it might be built into the air handling system. Um, so I'm just gonna label this as an accessory. It's accessory plus for right now. So. Either way, I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on the D-Wire from Linux. I might actually have to call the AC guys that installed it um, just to confirm that it does have a dehumidifier on there before I start, because I don't want to damage the system. I hate when that happens. I'm gonna have to patch that up, unfortunately. I got a lot of patching to do. Brand new house and doing all this work. All right, so I could, since it's better on this side, I'm gonna push it over here. <laughs> and then use this hole I think there's a stud right there. That's why they had that big screw right there, which is what I want. You want to drill into a, a stud. So that's the case. Um, put that there for now, put the screw. I'm not sure the screw, hopefully the screw's long enough reach into that stud. Good thing is about this Eagle E, it has a leveler on it, so I just need to get one in there and then level from there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That is not long enough. Um, I don't wanna use the other screw is too long. Drywall screw to reach in there. I hate that. Eventually, I'm going 
actually I might switch it out. Alright, so let me get this leveled. to hit the because that's already in a stud Them, but this is the proper way to do things. some of these wires where it's easier. I don't know how they got this looped in there. Alright, let me pull these extra ones out. That way I can get the C wire into C port. So make sure it's all nice clamped in there, so I got that one. I have this yellow one over here. So, Short. This over here. It's a little O so slash O B. I mean, I did take pictures of this prior to. Installing in the event it doesn't work, I can always refer back to that picture if I lose these labels. It's good because it makes good contact, but also a pain in the butt. I gotta move this other one too. Want this underneath. when it comes to the common wire, I usually use the color blue, not black. I think I used the black one on my 
humidifier in Colorado. Alright, so red, white, and green's over here. So let me move this up here. Red, white, then I have an AC or accessory one, not the AC, AC accessory plus. Uh, I still got to look at the manual about the accessory plus minus. Um, so there's two ways to wire an accessory one. Um, if it's already getting power, you only need one wire. I think you have to put in the plus. I have to confirm through the manual. And then if it has two wires to where you're doing the, uh, we need the, it's almost like a positive slash brown. Uh, then you put one wire in the plus, one in, in the negative to activate that uh, accessory, either humidifier, dehumidifier, or whatever type of extra system you have for your for your Havoc system. All right. Um, all right. Let's just go into thinking I am going to need a jumper for the red one. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to confirm I need a jumper on that one or not. Kind of just crushing these in here for right now. Get them nice and flat as possible. i go ahead and wire this as a single unit. doesn't turn on properly. Alright, so I got that. Bubbles leveled. Um, I should be able to snap in. Boom snap. This is definitely more hefty than the other one I had. It's more plastic. Definitely feels premium. a very clean look just got some do some little touch up paint over here a little bit over here i don't have to do any spackling or anything like that i think if i just put some paint over it'll, it'll pull it right in but that looks nice and clean the way i want it to look all right so let's flip the circuit breaker on the ac unit which is in the attic Power is working. Let's get started. I am the homeowner. Put my laptop on this one. All right, so connect 
RT terminal, but not the RH terminal. Is this correct? I don't know. Normally I have my iPad, but that's at the house due to my little one likes to use YouTube Kids on it. videos I just want the instructions please terminal descriptions there we go alright so G is for fan, which we already connected. RC is for cool transformer, or H is for heat transformer. OB is for heat pump reversing valve. Um, Y1 and Y2 is for one stage for conversion. Um, I want to say it's two stage. part I think I'm correct with the RC because um, I have a heat pump so right next um, I might have to call later to get and ensure that this is either a one or two stage that's the only question, because if it's two stage, I had to put it on two, I believe. Same with the uh, yellow. So yellow is for conventional AC or one two stage of heat pump compressor. And then W is used for conventional heat or one two stage auxiliary with heat pump. And then the OB is for the reversing to make the compressor on the outside uh, instead of circling one way or reversing the circle the other way to get the heat. Um, so yeah. We're gonna roll with that like it's a one stage for now. Um, and I'll do another video to see if I had to switch it to a two stage. I mean, because all it means is this will just want to run at one stage, not two stages. It shouldn't do any type of damage or anything like that. It's just it won't be able to call on to go to a higher stage. Uh, we're going to do dehumidifier. This is on a plus. We're going to do one wire. For Fahrenheit. Because we're Americans and we uh, don't like to use what the rest of the world is using. Cut a heap up you have in your home. Uh, air to air. Is on heat. To set this to disable if natural gas or oil is exterior. I don't have that, so um, I can run it simultaneously. I'm gonna put it on auto. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna leave it on the 
disabled because his roommate Rick Mann disabled his saw chain unless you're a heat pump man who knows how to rise. Close. Um, name your Ikubi. I'm just going to leave it as my Ikubi. I'm going to skip the pairing for right now. Alright. And then we're going to connect. Wi-Fi. Um, I'll just do it myself. Oh, okay. Duh. All right. Don't mind me covering this up. Not saying anyone was gonna hack into my my network. And who watches videos, good people. But just in case Russia is trying to take over my thermostat, or the Chinese are trying to take over my thermostat. All right, just have to wait for that to connect. Good thing about these thermostats, it runs off of two point four or five gigahertz. So even though my SSID is one with a blended of both on the same SSID or 2.4 and 5 are on the same SSID, it should connect with no issues. Some smart home devices have issues because they only run on 2.4 gigahertz and they have a hard time connecting to that. Sometimes it tries to connect to that 5 gigahertz, which I've seen happen before me personally having a device that's 2.4, try and connect to a five gigs. Wi-Fi status. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's retry the password. And let's cover that up. Um, it's not a hard password. I think I put the password in wrong. Alright, not connected. I want it on auto. So, during the winter, I want it to heat up to at least 72. And then, I like it on 78 from the United States. Central. Um, I think normally I put it on Dallas, but I think we're going to use Chicago. Chicago is Central. That's weird. All right, so we 
just had it cut off on me for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it just restarted itself. Interesting. So we're at 74 degrees inside, air quality is clean, and we're off right now. Put it back on auto. So we're at 72, 78 is fine. Uh, system mode auto, cover series on, no equipment running. Clean. We're on auto. I want the fan to run every 15 minutes per hour. That's just a circle of the air throughout the house. Uh, we need to remember to enable Siri a little bit later. Registration. Yes, let's go ahead and register. Still saying I have one step, but oh, I gotta do it on the phone. Duh. All right, I can do my essential later, I can do my schedule later, cover settings, settings. Microphone preferences. Home kit unpaired. My guys already connected. Settings, system. On, preferred, employees. There's supposed to be a way to where I can just turn on certain accessories. I was able to do it on the last degree I had. Don't know where. Yeah, equipment. So right now, like I said, it's on heat pump one stage, just really one stage. So as you're wiring. Test the fan. Trying to listen, that's why I'm quiet right now. See the fan is on. That fan 
is super quiet, but it is on. Even with the attic open, I, I barely hear it. All right, turn that off. Heat pump. Cool. I can hear that now. that whistling that means I have the AC guys the habit guys can do a good job of making sure everything's tight and sealed so when I do my Remy Halo install I'll be looking for leaks and drafts within the air handler because um, you want your system to be nice and sealed um, that way you're not letting extra dust and all that stuff and stuff in the attic come in as well so let me test the one of the vents real quick. So air is coming out, but it's warm air. So that's not good. That means I have something in reverse or I don't have something hooked up correctly or it's making it freaking turn on the heat and not the, so either it's either in the settings or the actual wire. All right, let's go to heat pump heat. Hear the condenser outside kicking on. So air kicked on, but it's not cold or anything. It's just like cool air. Not even cool air. It's just like a loop, loop almost look, look warm, barely. Maybe air from the outside coming in. Let me get a few more seconds to see if it'll cool down a little bit more. Is turn that off and we're gonna go to equipment I 
said this was gonna be tricky. I'm gonna swap that wire, that R, the, the red wire. I think that's where I'm having my issues. So I'm gonna turn off the circuit breaker real quick upstairs in the attic. Then I'm going to swap out that wire and then we're gonna go from there and see if that fixes the, the issue. Sometimes you see a jump up between the two. I'm not sure why there isn't. Oh, four. This one. Alright. It's in all the way. Everything else should be pretty much good. I said I only had to opt the question on the D wire. Else it was pretty straightforward. Check the circuit breaker outside. Make sure I didn't clock it. supposed to do this but I'm just going ahead and do it all the other wires are hooked up
shot instructions for the actual thermostat. This one right here. I suppose we're looking at the manual for the actual air handler. Well, it does keep some labels and stuff like that. Um, there's certain labels on here. I am trying to figure out. So I definitely need the RC for the fact that it gives it power. And I'm only thinking that I'm having an issue is either within the actual settings. So So right now it says run the fan dehumidifier. System. I'm going to disable this for now. I can always change it later on. expect it.
sounds like it's kicking on. definitely on and it's cool so that's a good sign but it's not as loud as it was earlier when I initially kicked it on and it might be because I might have a variable um, stage system well it'll just automatically um, it's not traditional one or two stage. So let me check the one of outlets again. Yes. Definitely uh, cool air coming out. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I do want to check the heat pump though. So I'm gonna let that settle for a minute. Actually, I can check the auxiliary heat. This sounds like a feeling I heard a switch. The auxiliary heat will not kick on that compressor outside. We'll just use the heat that's inside the uh, air handler. And I hear it on right now. Auxiliary heat takes a while though for the to warm up. So that's what we heard earlier when uh, the heat pump was on. It was freaking using auxiliary heat with the heat pump, which is what I what I did not want at first. Uh, turn that off. This who kicks on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to. I'm not sure if you can hear it on the camera, the that whining sound. 
I heard it when we were first doing our walkthroughs and stuff like that. I just find it annoying. But I'm definitely going to I'll have it on and then I'll go through the system upstairs in the attic and I'll just see if I can find where where it's sucking the air in and try to plug it up. It is still going. And I wanna go upstairs and cut it off. Joker is still going. I see this little heat coming out. It's, it's, it's nothing burning. It can clear here. It's 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 throwing it down now. So it's sitting forty degrees. It should, and that should be coming on. I got rest here. That's why it's doing that. That Wi Fi. All right. Last check. So, heat cool works, auxiliary works, fan works, dehumidifier, not sure if it works or not. I have to get some more clarification. Now let's see if heat pump works. I'm gonna go over to the bathroom window, see if I can hear it pop on. Definitely kicked on. And you can hear it whining again. And I got warm air coming out, so that is working. Um, what I'm going to do is turn oh, it's off. It's drawing it down correctly like it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do, I want this to cool. Seventy two. I don't believe this humidity is correct. It's almost seven percent humidity. It's not, there's not that muggy in here. I'm not sure it's because I'm standing right here and got the attic open.
here the condenser kicking on. Like it's supposed to. I do know when I was doing my walkthrough, the condenser took a while to kick on for was for the heat though, so I'm not sure exactly why it's not kicking on for this. Fans just running, but it should be kicking on the condenser, which is not. I'm gonna wait until the fan kicks on. It should have already kicked on by now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stop the video here. I got everything almost working correctly except for the AC. The AC is just not kicking on because the compressor should be kicking on right now. When I initially tested the AC I thought it was good to go and it's not so I'm gonna check my wiring one more time I'm pretty sure I have all the wiring somewhat correct it might be that D-wire so let me see exactly what's going on with this D-wire